Okay, so here's the deal. You know, I made a video about how Cardi B and Tommy G were having some relationship problems and it looked like they broke up or something and and then it looked like they were back together. Well, Cardi B is once again feeling as if she might need to leave Tommy G's ass alone for good this time. Can't repost it here. It's on my blog. But basically, she posted a picture of those those ugly frog pictures, the memes. Well, this one had like a, a <laughs> in its eyes, you could see like a nuclear blast, you know, symbolizing her being extremely angry, like about to explode. Here's what she had to say up on Instagram. She said, Tommy got me feeling like with seven mad face emojis, then five crying face emojis. Then she's so mad she's ready to cry. I can't stand them. Please, God, give me the strength to leave him. Why I keep playing myself with six very upset emojis. Damn, Cardi. I mean, it, the dude's in jail. He's upsetting you. He's not a very understanding person. It sounds like he may be even pretty demanding. Listen, he needs to just be happy that he has a beautiful lady waiting for him on the outside when he comes out. Somebody who's faithful. Well, I mean, you may not be faithful when it comes to women, but faithful when it comes to messing with other men. Loyal, attractive, talented. What the hell is wrong with this dude? Like, you're in jail with the booty busters that you gotta watch up for every single day. You can't drop the soap. You can't call the Pope. I mean, what the hell? You got nasty plain food with no damn seasoning on it, Jesus. Sitting up there eating the whitest chicken you ever seen. Goddamn snow chicken. No salt, no pepper, not even any Spinderella on the chicken. Just some old plain Jane ass shit. Oh, cardboard food. Everything tasting like cardboard. Gotta worry about mofos raping you and stealing your shit. You know, you get a little something, somebody send you a little something, boom. Somebody come through trying to take it from you. When you got your back turned or even worse, right in front of your face, like what you gonna do about it? Now you're fighting. You're fighting for your life up in there. You got somebody who's waiting there for you patiently, who was already very popular and now essentially became a celebrity while you were while you were incarcerated and you don't appreciate her enough to just do whatever you got to do to stay within her good graces you don't love her that much sounds like you love yourself a lot but you're not really loving her you need to be like look now i'm not saying that i'm not the man in the relationship but you're the one out with your freedom and you're holding things down right now you know so pretty much until i get out whatever you want to do you know as long as you're being faithful and whatnot hey you know all i can say is i love you and you got my support because that's what she's saying to you right tommy g that g needs to stand for get it together because that's what you need to do you got a good woman who loves you bro don't mess this up because i'm telling you you're gonna be real mad and you're the only person gonna the only person you could be mad at is yourself man she's trying to be there for you tommy do what you got to do to make sure that she's happy because, I mean, she's already lonely. She has nobody to hold on to at night other than a picture of you. And, I mean, you're up in jail. It's not even like you're free and you're away from her. Maybe, you know, have a long-distance relationship or something like that. Like, I mean, she can only see you at certain times. She's seeing her man basically being told what to do every day by another man or rather other men a group of people who basically control your life you know you're in a very emasculating position so you got to do what you got to do to make sure she's good i'm just saying but this is just my advice maybe i'm wrong uh, maybe he should keep doing whatever he's doing to piss her off i say you need to, <laughs> my personal advice listen if it, i'm not gonna say if it was me but i'm just saying no if you're in that type of situation you got this woman who's waiting for you on the outside be like look honey I got you. I'm not going to give you any damn problems, including when I get out and mean that she's doing something for you that she really doesn't have to do. She's young. She's attractive. She's famous now. She's loaded. She has mad cash and whatnot. She really does not have to deal with you, whether you realize it or not. You're <laughs> she's an upgrade for you. I don't know who else you could get. I don't know how many women you could get or anything like that. But she's in a really good position, including 
being able to have you be her safari samuels when you get out of jail bro so uh, do what you got to do to stay good with the cards shout out to the beautiful cardi b sorry you had to go through this sis you know these mofos don't know what they they, they he's she's tripping he'll come to his senses look five to ten years later he'll be like <laughs> when y'all not together anymore he's gonna be like damn i should have held you down better and i'm sorry he, he'll figure it out it'll be too late but he'll figure it out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's how they be mm -hmm. let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blockspot.com for more follow me on twitter at meat magazine